Welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Thursday, the 13th of August, in the 19th week of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21, to chapter 19, verse 1. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents. But he had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now as his servants went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant? just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say and he left Galilee and came to the part of Judea which is on the far side of the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. The parable that we've heard in the Gospel today continues and concludes that forgiveness should be at the centre of any Christian life and community. It's acknowledged by Jesus that we simply cannot live together without upsetting someone at some time, knowingly or unknowingly. And so forgiveness is a vital step. Matthew's parable, which highlights this issue of forgiveness, often involves a goodie and a baddie. And in this parable, we need to look at the huge difference in the amounts that are owed by the two servants. One owes 10,000 talents. In today's terms, he owes billions of dollars. And yet the debt is forgiven by his master. One owes 100 denarii, which in today's terms is about $2,000. And 
And yet, as we see, the ungrateful servant refuses to forgive the debt, even though his huge amount has been forgiven by the master. We live in times, unfortunately, where forgiveness is not an option. We live in times when we are simply not allowed to forgive in any way, shape or form. So for our prayer and reflection today, we might wonder, how can I, in my life, model forgiveness like Christ did? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, take care, stay safe, and God bless. Thanks, everyone.